August 22nd, the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The liturgical worship of the Most Pure Heart of Mary was suggested by the Fathers who commented the Canticle of Canticles. It was first joined to that of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in the 17th century by St. John Eudes. However, it was only at the beginning of the 19th century that Pope Pius VII allowed some places to keep a feast in its honor. On the Sunday after the octave of her assumption. Pius IX granted it a proper mass and office. In other places, it was kept on the Sunday, or rather on the Saturday, after the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. On December 8, 1942, during the terrible World War, Pope Pius XII consecrated all of mankind to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Consequently, he extended the feast to the Universal Church and gave it a new Mass in office by decree of May 4, 1944. That feast of the Immaculate Heart is fixed not on a Sunday, but to the very octave day of the Assumption. Mary in Heaven goes on interceding lovingly on our behalf. Her heart is the symbol of the ardent love which she fosters first for our God and for her Divine Son, but also of her maternal care for all human souls which Jesus entrusts to her when he died. We exalt the particular holiness of her heart, and we pray her to obtain peace for all nations, freedom for the church, conversion for the sinners, and for all the faithful, love for chastity, and the practice of all virtues. Let us look first a little deeper around the symbolism behind Mary's Immaculate Heart. Many are familiar with the image, but what is the meaning behind the Immaculate Heart of Mary? The image appears to be simple, but the symbolism behind it is complex. First of all, Mary's heart is visible outside of her body. This points to her undying love for all people. Her love is such that she cannot contain it within. Some artists choose to depict the Blessed Virgin carrying her heart in her hand or simply pointing with a finger to her heart. The gesture suggests that Mary wants to give her heart to the one who is viewing the image. Secondly, her heart is typically on fire, which emphasizes the intensity of her love for God and for humanity. Next, there are white roses that encircle her heart. These symbolize her purity, brought about by her immaculate conception, creating within her a most pure heart. In some cases, her heart is also shown with a lily coming out of the top, also symbolizing her purity. A single sword is sometimes added going through her heart, referring to the passage of Luke, A sword shall pierce thy heart, and brings to mind the sorrows she endured during her lifetime, especially during the crucifixion. Last of all, her heart is typically surrounded by rays of light. This brings to mind Revelation 12.1, where it describes the Blessed Virgin Mary as a woman clothed with the sun. Now that we understand the symbolism behind Mary's Immaculate Heart, Let's look at the true devotion and ultimate triumph of her Immaculate Heart. Historically, devotion to the heart of Mary can be traced to the 12th century with such writers as St. Anselm and St. Bernard of Clairvaux, who is considered one of the most influential writers in Marian devotion. St. Bernardine has been called the doctor of the heart of Mary due to his writings on Mary's heart. He wrote, From her heart, as from a furnace of divine love, the Blessed Virgin spoke the words of the most ardent love. Both Pope Leo XIII and Pope Pius X called St. John Oudes the father, doctor, and apostle of the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary due to the fervor in which he renewed the devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Devotion to Mary's heart grew following the manifestation of the miraculous medal to St. Catherine Labellore in 1830 and the appearances of Our Lady in Fatima. The entire Fatima message is one of prayer, penance, and making sacrifices and reparation to God for the many offenses against Him. God prepared the heart of Mary as a fitting home to the Holy Ghost. We ask Mary to help us, her spiritual children so dear to her heart, to stay ever united in friendship with her Son and never separate ourselves by sin. Lastly, we look forward to the triumph of Mary's Immaculate Heart. 
Our Lady at Fatima told us, in the end, my immaculate heart will triumph. But how, how will it triumph? Her heart will triumph by the action of her heart over the hearts of all rational creatures. The heart, as you know, is a physical organ that symbolizes the mentality of a person, the way a person sees and does all things. The Immaculate Heart of Mary is an expression of the most wise and pure mentality of Our Lady that, among other things, symbolizes her goodness, her incomparable sweetness, and her endless mercy. For these reasons, the angels and the saints of heaven love her intensely as much as it is proper to love someone other than god the result of this love is such that she reigns over them her heart wields a power over their hearts her mentality exerts an influence over their mentality thus when her reign over the good spreads throughout the world we will have the triumph predicted in fatima this will be the victory of the royal wise immaculate heart of mary